Alright, what's up guys? Today we're gonna do the McKenna dungeon. The third... This is the third dungeon of the I dungeon trio. And it's also another one of the BC instances. This one is more interesting because... This one is more unique because it has... Because most of the time it's trash debt. It's multi-trash dance. The density of trash is a lot in this one. And yes, the thing did hit the controller that just went by there. Just a trick. Whoa! If we take these ones out now, we don't have to later. Wait for the patroller to go right there. Ah, there we go. Alright, here's a little trick to see all these enemies up here, right? Uh, here's a little trick for these guys. Wait for time properly for this one to go right in between there. And for this patroller to also go right in between these two right over here, because normally these two are impossible to get at once without the patroller being nearby. With the patroller nearby, it makes it possible because the hitbox of the patroller is really wide. What I mean by that is it's really large hitbox. This guy's hitbox is also quite big. There we go, time to just swipe. If you take these guys out early, you can be able to loot the bosses more easily without accidentally pick up the loot from the trash corpses. This guy, this, this, the first boss of the instance is this dude right here. This guy keeps running around constantly. Your time it right there. There we go. I'm gonna make it so I have a guaranteed chance of. Look at that. Wait, this is set up. Okay. There's a there's a freaking invisible wall. Well, there's an invisible wall here, which is why which is why I can't get over that. There, over that area. I can get a bunch of them at once. That's literally the best thing I've ever seen. Literally the best type of sight to see. Here's another set of them down here. Take these guys down so I don't have to. If I get them down now, I don't have to. Time just like that. But which one am I going for first? It's the one up top there. There's two gay keep watchers. And McKenna look and the first one is the McKenna Lord, which is right here. He is right new which is new which he is nearby right here. Nearby me like right over here. To avoid picking up the useless trash loot from from these trash stuff. Either you either these these will eventually despawn. These useless trash eventually will despawn. But take him out in the right spot. Take this guy out in the right spot, you can loot him early. Yeah, I got him in just the right spot. Got him down in just the right spot. Or else that would have been impossible. You can also loot this guy too, but you have to get him right at the middle because his hitbox, his loot hitbox radius is very wide. So, because his hitbox detection radius is wide too, so therefore, you will calculate he did not calculate that. He said 
His first, this one's first one that seems to split while I can. And then go and shut up, say, bully. It's just, yeah, it's just straight up bully. He had said, this, the second boss hop. He says, you have approximately f this many seconds to live. He's calculating how long I'm gonna last. That's quite a smart move to do. Well, I could just lose him right now. That's... Hopefully he's not too close to anything. Ah... Uh, of course, I was... Well... It's impossible to lose... To without looting it. Yeah! Those guys are so close. It's impossible. To loot just the boss. Why would I want to just loot the boss? Because you see the trap. Don't drop good loot too often. And it's always the boss that drops the most amount of good loot. The trash can drop some decent loot, but if it was good enough, yeah. But there's no longer there's no longer trash nearby that. Alright, here's a simple little trick trick for the fourth boss of the instance. Is right nearby some trash. Is there's some there's like four trash waiting to get you but you can pull them either pull the trash away from the boss after you defeat the boss some kind of individual hitting it with a either a multi-hitting ability or an individual hitting ability because no matter what the boss is too far away for that to even happen I value your life, love. these ones will chase you will chase you if you take out the boss if you pull them far enough away you only get the boss loot. Also, these destroyers are also far enough away. And also, yeah. Oh. Well, I could just. There is a. I have. I know there's another way for me to jump over this. There we go. This is. This area is wave. A set of waves of trash. This part here, section two, is wave sections of trash. Each time you. Also, for the last set of trash, pull them just far enough away so they don't cast any. Oh, one of them shrunk me. Am I? I'm still way too strong. Take out the final boss. Final boss is this guy right here. And after that, it's literally the end of the dungeon right afterwards. So, here's, here's the end of it. And thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you in the next video soon. That will be coming up soon. Bye!